Moore and Norman are neighboring cities just south of Oklahoma City, but which one is better to live in? Let's talk about it. In this video, I'll cover Moore and Norman's location, weather, and schools. I help a lot of people move in the Oklahoma City metro, and honestly, a lot of times people tell me that they don't want to live in Moore. So we'll talk a little bit about their reasoning too. The weather in Moore and Norman is very similar as they are neighboring cities. There is a rumor that Moore gets more tornadoes than Norman, most likely perpetuated by the fact that when you Google Moore, Oklahoma, all you see is tornadoes all the time. But actually this year in Norman, we received two tornadoes and in Moore, there weren't any. Honestly, this isn't something that anyone can control. And if you're afraid, like I get it, don't live in Moore if it's going to cause you emotional distress. I understand that. However, people live in LA, even though there's earthquakes in, people live in Florida, even though there's hurricanes. Tornadoes do not need to negate more strong points as a place to live. Traditionally, Moore is actually more of a bedroom community, more like a suburb than Norman, because Norman's a little bit bigger and it's kind of seen as its own city a lot of the time. The population in Moore right now is just under 65,000 and the population in Norman right now is just under 130,000. Norman is located south of Oklahoma City, but it is also south of Moore. The landmass of Norman itself is actually quite large. There is lots of land left in Norman and lots of neighborhoods are going up because of this. Moore is actually surrounded on all sides by other communities. On the north, east, and west, Moore is totally surrounded by Oklahoma City and it can't grow anymore. In the south, it's surrounded by Norman and it can't grow anymore in that direction either. As a real estate agent, when I talk about Moore, I'm usually talking about the people that live in Moore School District. So Moore is a town itself, but then since Oklahoma City surrounds it, the Oklahoma City addresses that are in Cleveland County, which is where Moore is and Norman, those addresses in Cleveland County that are Oklahoma City, actually those kids go to Moore School District. Both Moore and Norman sit along I-35, which makes it a really great location for getting to Oklahoma City. Driving cars in these two towns is the most common form of transportation. However, Norman also has its own public transportation. The Norman public school system includes 17 elementary schools, four middle schools, and two high schools. There are also several private schools in Norman, including parochial schools and secular schools. Moore Public Schools actually includes 25 elementary schools, six middle schools, and three high schools because you guessed it, the population in Moore Public Schools is actually larger than Norman's even though Moore is a smaller town than Norman. Uh, those residents might have greater access to more private schools because of the location um, in relationship to Oklahoma City. Norman is best known as the home of the University of Oklahoma. The University of Oklahoma is actually rated as one of the top schools in the nation for one of the best educations for one of the lowest prices. Also, the Moore Norman Technology Center has campuses in both school districts, Norman and Moore. There are lots of different programs in the Moore Norman Technology Center that serve the community that are outside of the traditional university system. So why would you choose Norman over Moore? A lot of times I see my clients choosing Norman because it does feel like its own city and it also feels like its own town even though like a small town feel even though it is the third largest city in Oklahoma. When my clients prefer more I often see that they're working in Oklahoma City and they may like the more affordable home prices in more as compared to Norman. If this video has helped you, will you please hit that like button? My name is Marcy Billen and I am a real estate agent in the Oklahoma City Metro and I do live in Norman. If you have questions about moving here, please let me know. You'll find all of my contact information below. Also, don't miss part two of this series, Norman versus Moore. Part two is gonna be all about housing.